regarding the uh, play for pay allegations in the latest book emails back in 2012 you know those those issues um, are in my view distractions from what is this what this campaign should be about what I'm going to make this campaign about um, and I'll let other people decide what they want to talk about I'm going to talk about what's happening in the lives of the people of New Hampshire and across America Good for you. Yeah, there you go. There's Hillary Clinton, ladies and gentlemen. Joining us now is Sean Davis, co-founder of TheFederalist.com, uh, COO of Media Trackers. And Sean, welcome. When I saw your piece, I said, we got to get Sean on because this is, I mean, this is something that you would figure. If, if, you, if, you, if you think that the Constitution is based uh, in part on common sense, uh, or if anything was based on common sense, you would think this would be prohibited. How does the Secretary of State of the United States, how is she allowed to have a foundation that takes money from foreign countries and foreign interests and people who have business before the State Department while she's Secretary of State? And you wrote a great piece, which is a title, The U.S. Constitution Actually Bans Hillary's Foreign Government, as you put it, Payola. That's right. You know, I, one of the things I keep saying is that the Clinton Foundation is not so much a charity as it is an organized crime syndicate. And this notion that she can somehow funnel money through her uh, husband's foundation while she was Secretary of State from foreign governments and that it's just completely okay and kosher is absurd. And it flies in the face of the law and what the Constitution says that public officials can and cannot do. Well, all right. If that's the case, with all due respect, and I'm glad you are, otherwise I wouldn't have had you on, but why are you the only one saying this? Why do we hear so much talk about this agreement that was worked out between, although uh, the, you, know, it, you can't find the piece of paper, the White House says talk to, this, uh, the, uh, to Hillary's people and to the State Department, and they say talk to the White House, but why was there an agreement reached, I forget what they called it actually, uh, between the White House and Hillary when she was Secretary of State, allowing for X amount of countries to continue to contribute if this is unconstitutional? How did it ever get to that point? Well, I, I actually have to quote John Edwards here uh, that there are two Americas. There's an America where this type of behavior is frowned upon and illegal and prosecuted as such, and there's an America where the Clintons live. And throughout their entire political careers, the Clintons have never been held accountable for their grift and their graft and their shadiness and their corruption. And so I'm honestly not at all surprised that the Obama administration just kind of let this skate, pretended that disclosure, disclosure was going to somehow make it okay. Uh, th this is a, a family of uh, organized criminals. Yeah, well, uh, do you think it, 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 when we see the book, I mean, look, look just what we know about this uh, uranium situation. Here you have, and correct me if I'm wrong, two Canadian or, or Canadian interests uh, that contribute to the Clinton Foundation to the tune of millions. They then need permission from the State Department to, to uh, sell their uh, uranium interests to Russia. They get, the State Department signs off on it after they, they, th these people contribute to the Clinton Foundation, Hillary is one of three people needed to sign off, and she does. I, I, is that not a, at least a conflict of interest? Oh, it's a huge conflict of interest, but it gets even worse, is that while Hillary was taking all this money, she wasn't actually disclosing it like she had told the Obama administration she should. Uh, the reporters for the New York Times had to go searching through Canadian tax records to find evidence of these payments. The Clintons didn't report it on their IRS forms for the Clinton Foundation. They didn't disclose it to the White House. Everything they have done has been just a walking, talking conflict of interest, uh, lacking any type of disclosure whatsoever. It, it is disgusting. All right, you also wrote a piece uh, talking about how Hillary, if she's going to have a chance to win, she's going to have to dump the private jets, the chauffeured limousines, the $300,000 speech fees, um, and she's going to show that she can live like a normal person. Uh, but that's, that's a tough act for her to pull off because I don't think she could live as a normal person. I don't think she can. I mean, look at all the fanfare her campaign wanted, uh, wanted to have for her eating a burrito. I mean, most people go to Chipotle and they don't send out a press release and they don't do TV appearances and they don't do wall-to-wall -wall coverage, uh, you know, on Twitter and on their websites and with their reporter friends. You just go to lunch and you get a burrito and you go back to work. Uh, I don't think she can pull it off. I don't think a person who's not driven a car in 20 years can suddenly pull off this regular, everyday American shtick. Uh, and, 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 Sean, if this, I mean, you know, uh, Senator Menendez was indicted because of the appearance, and maybe they have proof of quid pro quo, 
improper gifts, blah, blah. Um, if they wanted to, do you think, if they wanted to, could they indict Hillary Clinton? Well, uh, I have to imagine you, you can indict a ham sandwich. I have to assume they would be able in, to indict her on something. But remember that the person in charge of uh, overseeing nonprofits at the IRS while all this was going on was Lois Lerner. So I don't think anyone in this government, in this federal executive branch, has any interest in holding oh. the Clintons accountable oh, no. for their Oh, no, 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 that goes, that goes without saying. That's why I stressed if they wanted to, because, of course, they never would. Sean, great stuff. We'll speak to you again. Keep it up, sir. Thank you. All right, folks, we're coming back with Larry Clayman. More on Hillary.